Boom! All right, folks, this video is to respond to several people who said, I don't believe contact can solve people before you get to the call. Well, those are fighting words, fan. So I said I will make a video to explain how contact can get people already solved before the call. And here we go. Listen, so before we do anything, before you can ha create content that so you must have two fundamental things. They are non-negotiable. It wouldn't matter what you do after these two if these two are not airtight. Ready? One, you have to have a killer offer. You probably heard it a dozen times. You must have a great offer. Your offer must be so good that it's a no-brainer to work with you. For the sake of brevity, I don't have time to explain it to you. But up here is a picture of $100 million offers by Alex Hormonzi. Go read it. It's 99 cents on Kindle. Read it. You must have a killer offer. Period. Number two, you must be in a profitable net. Do you understand? So, so often, people are not operating in a subset category where people, A, have a need for your product and service, have the money for your product and service, have the sense of urgency for your product and service. So, you must have a profitable net in order to do anything with content. What more specifically? to do anything with marketing at all. Whether you do traditional pre-selling marketing to give it to a salesperson to coach them on the phone. Whether you do that or the way I'm talking about, it doesn't matter if you don't have these two things. Game over. Now, let's say you have those two things. You have an offer that is completely irresistible. It's a no-brainer. I'm absolutely gonna buy it. And you're operating in a niche where People have money, and there's enough of them out there, and there's a real big demand to solve this problem, okay? You have these two. Put them aside. Now, contact. Here's the problem. Most people don't have a strategy. Most people are simply waking up in the morning, banging out a post, sending it. Most people, if they don't do that, maybe they create bad content, but... They are still creating content based on a fear. So, say they get up a Sunday, say, I'm going to write content for the week. And so they set their brains for them. They have notepads, filled with ideas. They publish it. And they hope. They pray. They have no idea if they're going to get a return on this week's content. Well, my friends, that's exactly the problem. Now, if you want to create content that gets people already sold before the call, you have to have a strategy. There are several types of strategies. So here's one strategy for your growth, consideration, and decision. Different people have different ways to implement this strategy. This one is mine. So growth, consideration, and decision. So what is that? This is a combination of content marketing with direct response. Copywriting. There are products being sold over the history of business who have been sold with simply a sales letter for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So direct response, copywriting, is one of the most effective ways to sell products and services without having sales, without having to get on the phone to sell something. This has been on going on for a very long time. The problem is it's not really taught in contact of organic social media, which is designed around capturing attention and interest. Right. I didn't come up with it, but I combined two ideas. On the one side, you've got to pay the organic social media gang. And then on the other side, you've got to pay the direct response gang at the same time. Here we go. So growth, growth is typically post that similar growth within your network. So simply post it for the sake of post it and hoping it works uh, doesn't allow you to get enough traffic. So remember, you've got to kill it off, right? In order for people to see that kill it off, you have to create traffic. Traffic plus 
offer equal sales, period. So growth type of content stimulates that type of growth. You need to stimulate traffic to see your profile, to see your tagline, to see your website, to see your YouTube video. You have to generate enough traffic to drive them past your offer. If you're doing growth, it's anti-value. To me, it's anti-value. It has nothing to do with power. More on the entertainment side. So the more you entertain, the more you get people excited. Remember, even on LinkedIn and other platforms, people want to be entertained, even when they say they don't. Trust me. So once you get a handle of that, you can do consideration type of post. Consideration type of post is where you establish positioning. It's where you position yourself on the market. So typically, remember those people I say they wake up in the morning and they just bang out a post and sell it. Typically, they try to be super, super helpful. Consideration has nothing to do with that. Consideration type of post typically have to do with understanding what a buyer goes to the market. You bombard it with information. You bombard it with offers. You bombard it with different solutions. So it's about making the buyer aware of where your solution is on the continuum of services. So instead of being super helpful, you should position your solution, your method, Whatever, again, other people. I didn't say go off on a rant. I didn't say trash people. I didn't say no name. I simply said, petition your offer so that the buyer can see offer one and offer two clearly. So if you are a consultant, who are you competing with? What types of other consultants are you competing with? What types of other service providers are you competing with? You have to be aware of what your audience, your buyers are consuming with content and advertising every single day. And you have to make the connection for that. That Hey, I know you've been watching X. X talks about X, Y, C. You know what? That's not what we do. We do A, B, C. Already you created a split in the market by comparing and contracting the two offers with content, right? So the more you do that creatively, innovatively, with a little bit of story branding, a little bit of being absolutely direct, the way, be creative with this part. You don't always have to be blunt in this part. Sometimes you don't, but you don't always have to. You've got growth, consideration. And this is the key part that many people make. Decision. So when people go through the growth phase, they go through consideration phase, and finally, what do you do with them? You just pray and hope that they're, oh, Doug, I'm DMing you because I'm so excited to work with you. You don't have time next week. That's not going to happen. You have to force people to make a decision sometime. Naturally, you can convert people in growth phase. You can convert people in consideration phase. And if that not enough, you can convert them in decision phase. Decision phase is where direct response, copywriting goes into. Direct response, copywriting, you need a buck. Use the ultimate sales letter by Dan Kennedy. Ultimate sales letter by Dan Kennedy. Redirect, absorb the principle of direct response, copywriting. You are going to have to be direct with your content. Sometimes you're going to have to either present a micro offer, something that not your signature package, which is thousands and thousands of dollars, maybe something that's a couple hundred dollars, just to get them started, some low hanging fruit, some low risk opportunity to connect with you. So you have to figure out a way to put people over the fact, given the fact that many people already should have converted if you've taken everything right. If not, start learning direct response, copywriting. This is not the Holy Bible. There are other books, plenty of other books. But just to get you started, read that. So what do you do? One growth for a couple of weeks, one consideration for a couple of weeks, and then pop them in the mouth. One or two. decision like pop and run that cycle over and over again. That's a strategy that you can use to ensure that 
the vast majority of people who work with you are already sold. I have clients who close people in the DM that they never get on a sales call because of these, that this particular strategy. Me personally, I like to hop on sales call. What I find with sales call, they're not really looking for me to sell them. They just want to make sure we're good, but they're already pre-sold. So it's my ball to lose, my ball to drop. So there you have it. I hope I was able to address the naysayers that content can't close people. You need a sales team or you need a sales process. I would argue, yes, but not as bad as you think you do. Content you already do the vast majority of the heavy lifting for you. In the most cases, it is not necessary to hop on a call. Believe me. Don't believe me. Let me know in the comments. Boom!